up and just sketch out our basic shapes of our border collie puppy. And we're going to sketch out a shape for his head. I always draw lightly in pencil to begin with. Okay, I'm going to sketch it a little darker now so you guys can see it. This is going to be kind of an ear right in here. Oh. And then I'm going to have another ear right over here. Um, this is going to be the section where the nose is. Okay. So then we're going to draw in his body. We're going to draw a straight line over here for his leg. Wait, wait, I'm confused. So now we're going to go ahead and sketch where that leg is. And it's kind of a short, stubby leg because this is a puppy. Oh! Right? And then um, we're going to draw his other leg over here. It's a little bit closer to us. So we'll be able to see a little bit more. Okay? We drew a line for the body. We're going to make it curve around. Okay? We're going to curve this back around here. And now we're going to draw his back leg. And this puppy, I don't know, he kind of is cracking me up. He's, he's sitting in kind of a... So we're going to draw another leg over here, his hind leg. Okay? So he's sitting down kind of funny. And we're going to add his tail sticking out behind him. Okay, so that's our basic puppy shape. The thing about border collies that makes them special is the way that the coloring is on their fur. Okay, so we're going to draw a little white stripe down the center of his face. It's going to be kind of big here, and then it's going to get smaller. And then it's going to go over his nose like this. So you need a white section like that. We're going to draw a little nose right here. Wait, all the way down? Mm -hmm. oh. And then we're going to draw eyes right here. Little tiny eyes. Another little tiny eye right here. <laughs> I think I didn't get this one right. Um, depending on uh, which particular border collie that you are drawing, you can imagine that it has black fur or dark brown fur, whatever you want. I'm going to sketch in right here. This is kind of where his patch of white fur is going to be. This Part of his face is going to be white, but his nose is black, okay? And the tricky part is going to be shading in his eyes and shading in um, the fur around him, uh, around his eyes, so that you can see that he has dark eyes and dark fur. So I'm going to just shade... Yeah, if you want to leave a sparkle in um, in his eyes, you can. Even in his ear, you want to color his ear? Yeah, I'm going to color this part. I'm going to make it kind of light so that you can see where to shade. But I'm going to shade um, all of this section. We need eyebrows, right? <laughs> if you want to add eyebrows, you just go right in. We're going to add this kind of a dark shadow right there on the ear. Okay, I'm going to add just some, some extra detail too. So a little shading in there to give the face some dimension. Okay, um, we're going to add some shading on this leg. We're going to make it dark until it gets right about here. 
and then it's going to be light. Okay, I'm going to add just a little shadow here, even though it's light, just a little bit of a shadow right there and right here. Okay, I'm going to add just a light gray shadow on his tummy. A light gray shadow underneath his nose here. A light gray shadow to the side. <laughs> and then this part of his body is going to be dark again. Okay, we're going to shade um, the back leg as well. And I'm going to leave the tip of his tail white, but I'm going to shade in the rest of his tail black. So I have a cute little border collar puppy, but he looks a little strange because I haven't finished him yet, because I haven't added a background. Okay, I'm going to add some little toes here. Okay, and then I'm going to um, just create a shadow underneath him so that he looks like he belongs on the ground here. In the shadow, like this. Sometimes your drawings look a little strange and you're like, why is it strange looking? Well, sometimes it's because you forgot to add a shadow. So it looks like your critter is floating. He's floating. So I'm going to make him so he's not floating. I'm going to give him a shadow to sit on. Okay, so I have a shadow for my puppy to sit on. I am going to um, draw a horizon line here in the background. So um, I can add more detail in the front. You want to add some grass or something in the front. Or maybe your puppy's inside. I don't know. You can decide. And so I'm going to make it look like there's grass in the front of my picture. I am going to draw detail in the back of my picture so you can um, create an environment for your puppy to be hanging out in. This is my tree here. I'm going to give it a little bit of shading. So decide how you want the rest of your picture to look. Get it all finished up the way you want it, and when you're pleased with your drawing, you can sign it. Do you have to sign it? So there's my artist signature, and I'm all ready to go.